The phrase study habits is thrown around so often that the combined meaning of these two words sometimes gets lost. Study means to devote oneself to or fixate on something. Habit refers to something that you do as a matter of routine, something that you habitually, rather than something you consciously choose to do. To reach your potential as a student, you need to develop effective study habits. Building study habits requires effort. Exerting yourself and putting forth your best effort can be tiring, at least initially. But once you, your study habits are built, they actually save you a tremendous amount of effort and help you get things done without feeling exhausted or feeling like you want to quit. If you're willing to invest more of your mental energy up front, you can save mental energy in the long run. To do this, you need to build good study habits. And it takes time to build a habit. It takes mental energy to get yourself to perform a behavior that is not yet a habit. But once a habit is built, it takes almost zero mental energy. Let me give you an example of a habit that I've helped hundreds of people build while working as a tennis pro. In tennis, you need to stay on balance on the balls of your feet so that you can quickly react to the direction and velocity of the ball hit by your opponent. The split step in tennis is a way of preparing yourself to react. And if you watch experienced tennis players, you'll see them do a little hop called a split step just before their opponent is about to hit the ball. The habit of split stepping is one of the ways that within seconds, a tennis coach can tell if somebody is a tennis player. They move differently on the court and they look different while moving. You can't become a good tennis player without developing a split step habit. In my experience, it takes beginning tennis players about three weeks of mental energy to build a habit of split stepping. But once the split step habit is built, it takes zero mental energy because you perform the behavior out of habit. So when I was teaching beginning and intermediate tennis players, I wouldn't tell them that they had to split step every time their opponent was gonna hit the ball for the rest of their lives. I would ask them to split step every time their opponent was about to hit the ball for the next three weeks. You know, to give it a try, see how it works. And do you know what happened? They would build the habit of split stepping because split stepping became a habit, they no longer had to devote any mental energy to remind themselves to split step. They split stepped habitually every time their opponent was about to hit the ball. So they're able to devote their mental energy to other things and focus on things like where their opponent was at any given moment and the spin velocity and direction that they should hit their next shot. Habits free up mental resources to focus on other things. It may take a few weeks of conscious effort to build new study habits, but once these study habits are built, your habits will help you get things done without as much mental energy, and you won't feel as tired, and you won't feel like quitting. If the idea of studying for the next few years, not just skimming and cramming and showing up to class, but truly studying sounds exhausting to you, and you aren't ready to commit to four years of studying, you might consider reframing your thinking. There's an African proverb which reminds us that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Your first step might be to create a study plan. Figure out when and where and what you are going to study. Put processes and procedures in place that will help you master the topics you're studying. Turn your plan into a routine. If possible, create a consistent study schedule that you'll follow each week. And no matter how much mental effort it takes, just get it done each day. To begin, don't worry about long range goals. Just make a commitment to truly study each day for the next three or four weeks. And by the end of a few weeks, you might just find that you have a new habit, which means you'll be able to get more done with less mental energy and less fatigue and more time left over to do fun things.